Hey, what is up guys? Today's video we will do something special. We are currently 140th in the world and today we will do the copy deck challenge. So basically we're gonna start a game and then after every game we need to copy the deck from our opponent. So it will be really fun. And if you guys want to see more challenges just like that, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Also using credit code Morton is highly appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. And I would say we are gonna start off with this really, really nice great minor control deck. And let's see which decks we're gonna face. Deck get like two points. Possibilities facing meta decks, which I'm like feeling comfortable with, and also like the second option is like facing off meta decks, which I don't really like to play. But let's see, gonna jump into the games. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Here's the first game, and I think we're just gonna start off with Wall Breaker at the bridge. This guy's playing E Giant or Lava Hound, so two decks which I don't really like to play, but we're just gonna do it. So we go for the Wall Breaker at the bridge. So he might Lava Hound, so I'm just going for Darkness on the right side. Okay, great minions prediction. If you can call like that. But we're just gonna bet here and we just go for the minor like this. To give the pressure on both sides. The Dark Prince connects if he's not gonna do anything against it. So he's gonna take the arrows here. So I think we're just going aggressive there. So minions are kinda annoying because like they're really good against bats. So I don't really wanna fireball the minions because it's a minus one elixir trade, but sometimes I have to. So hmm. I think we're just gonna go over for Tesla like this. Go for bats. Good thing is that he's not back to arrows yet, so great defense. Okay, focus. I'm so focused, guys. Let's do it. I really like that. Like, I think the last video was like almost like three months ago. And yeah, let me know if you guys have like something different, like some different challenges to kind of mix up the content. Um, I really like to. Like, I'm always open for new changes on my channel. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see and then make sure to um, give a like on the idea if you have an idea if you enjoy it. So we just go for a Tesla here. Getting like a wallbreak connection on both sides. Yes, I could have played on the left side, but I know it's gonna be a 1-1 one -one situation. So making sure to get all the damage on the opposite lane is kinda important for me. So the balloon is like, no, I don't go to the Tesla. I don't really care about it. And I'm like, okay, dude, okay, dude. That's sad. Um, we take the fireball here. We just go for wall breaker. He's going for a bomber. So I think the wall breaker both connect. Okay, that's insane. So we just go for Tesla here. Hmm. So I'm just gonna go for Dark Prince. Just go for this, and we just go for fireball. Can we hit everything with all the minions? No, one minion is escaping for no reason. Mmm. Bats. Yeah, on the balloon. Let's go. Fireball. No hits. Oh my. Let's go. Just going for this. I'm gonna lock this. Lock? Oh, so close. Oh no. So let's see. That was an expected lava hound. Okay, let's see, we just need to fireball here. Good fireball. Hmm, how is he gonna stop like my miner? He doesn't really have anything on the ground, so I think I'm just going for minor lock. Also going for wall break in the pocket, he needs to fireball, he needs to arrow them, let's go. Fireball is enough, GG's well played, so we're taking the first half of today's video and let's go to the second game. We need to play actually his Lava on deck, let's do it. Here we go, next game, oh, we're playing against Bob the Rock and because we're playing against a famous player, we're going for Lava on first play in the bag and he decides to play Royal Giant. Okay, I'm feeling comfortable with Royal Giant, so I'm happy he's like not playing a weird off deck. With Lava on, ah, not really. E Giant or Lava Hound. Two decks which I don't really like to play. They're not the best Lava Hound player ever. So we just go for minions here. At least that's a great pose of Elixir Tray. We just, we don't really take any damage. I think the disadvantage for us is that we don't have a big spell. So I would even suggest to go in for a Miner on the, ba on the, on, on the Balloon. On the Furnace here. I think we're just going for a Balloon at the bridge. Let's see. Does he have a Fireball? Does he have Lightning? He's going for another furnace. Okay, he can do it. I'm fine. So... Just go for skeletons and also this. 
Hmm. Like, Bob is so good with the classic World Giant one, especially with the furnace being back in the matter. He was using Cage a lot, but I know he likes the Furnace more. So Furnace is back in the meta, and he is even better than before with Royal Giant. I think he even got like really good finishes with Royal Giant Cage. So going for Larval in the back should be the play. Just going for something like a Mega Mean like this. Just going for arrows. Good arrows. You just go for a balloon here. Let's see. What's he gonna do against the balloon? Is he even gonna do anything against the balloon? The balloon is connecting. Does he have furnace? He doesn't. Tower down. Let's go. Great start. Great, I think great arrows there. Like great minions um, and arrows. Really heads up plays. So I think we need to go for another lava and he could go in on the opposite lane. I think I'm just gonna minions there and play Mega Mean on his balloon. On his balloon, on his um, um baby dragon. So I think we're just going for Mega Mean like, so We're gonna go in for a balloon here. We go for a Maya like this. Is he going for the free crown? Gonna arrow this. Like, he's gonna get my tower, but the question is, can he defend this? Yes, he can. Okay, great place by him. But we get one huge balloon connection. So we go for bomb on the back. One for Mega Me in front of this. Balloon at the bridge, bomber. Let's go. We're gonna arrow this. It's gonna firebolt, okay. Hmm. Lava plus minions. Can he reset it? He does. Okay. But the question now is how is he gonna stop this? We're gonna arrow this. Like he still needs to play something, right? Please. Is it connected? 14 HP. No. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So guys, we don't really want to talk about last game, here and next game, we need to copy for sure Bob's Royal Giant deck. So if we just go for Furnace here, he plays Giant. Um, so we're gonna go for Mega, I mean, we also go for Log here. Interesting that Bob changed the Log with the Barbarian Bill, or most of the time he had the Barbarian Bill in it. Also the Lightning itself, the Fireball, but Fireball you just need against all the Mother Witches right now. So I don't really know how the matchup is, honestly, against... Um, the matchup is against Giant Double Prince, but I remember when the deck was really good with the lightning in it. Most of the people were using guards, but then I don't know if Bob was the first guy who would throw it in the Lumberjack, but the Lumberjack is really, really good also in offense. So just go for a Lekker Squid in the back. Hmm. Just go for a Lumberjack in the back. He's good for a giant, so I think we're just gonna set up with a furnace for sure. We want to get as much value as we can out of our air troops. He has a Mega Me, he has a fireball, and he had, does have also the Electro. Uh, but that's not really doing great against Mega Me plus Baby Drink. So I think we're just going to split the tubes a bit. Going for Lock here. Going also for E Spirit. E Spirit's doing a good job. Just going for a Lumberjack here to make sure that the Prince is not doing too much damage. We also have a small counter bush here. And yeah, he's going really aggressive, really hard. So I think I need to Mega Mean here. Kinda get some value out of this. No! No, that was so bad. Fireball. Can Fireball save today? 
No, not really, not really. Okay, that was well played. I don't know, man. Like, the prince is so annoying. I don't really have too much against the prince. I always need to spend my lock. I always need to spend my electus put. And Lumberjack is really, really doing bad against prince. So I don't really know what I could have done differently there. But for sure... Oh, I don't know, man. And maybe I shouldn't have played the Lumberjack there and something else. But I can re remember my cycle. So I think I'm just going for a Ring in the back. But that's a challenge, right? Playing decks which I'm not really feeling comfortable with. But that's, like, the fun with the video, so... Just going for Mega Minion here. Let's go, that's good. Furnace. Hmm. No! Mega Minion saves the day! But I lost. GG's. He played really well, so we're gonna copy Giant Double Prince. Oh my! The first game we won with our main deck, then we lost really, really close with Bob's deck, and now uh, we lost really, really close to Bob's deck of Larbot. Now we lost with um, Royal Giant to Giants, so we need to copy the opponent's deck, and I would say I'm gonna see you guys in the last game. Here we go! Let's go in the last game for this episode, so... Let's get it up. So, I'm not really feeling comfortable with Giant Double Prince. I think, like, the three decks are like really specific decks for players which are just really good with the deck so i wouldn't say that giant double prince this royal giant furnace deck even after the furnace buff and the lava deck is so good in the meta i would just say the players which are playing the decks which are like just two or three on top that are really insane with the decks so i think we just go for a prince in the back for sure against um this type of decks or like this type of deck he's playing i always want to save my dark prince even he can easily outcycle it um, so I think I'm just going for a Miner here. So we got just go for a Zap. Oh, the Zap prediction! <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about, guys. That was insane. So we go for the Mega Mean here. I was a bit loud, but that's fine, right? That's fine, that's fine. I hope so. So we go for Mega Mean High here. Let's see, we're just going for Dark Prince onto his boy again. And he also needs to defend the Dark Prince with a... So he's going to play a Valkyrie against my Dark Prince. So I'm going to go for Prince on his Valkyrie, play a Miner, zap his Skeletons. Okay, no, he's not going to do it. But he raised a ton of Elixirs, so basically I can go for a free Giant in the back. If he decides to support that, we can just go for a Lecture Wizard. If he doesn't decide to support it, um, yeah. We are fine. So he still needs to defend the Electro Wizard, which is great for us. Hmm. So I'm just gonna Prince this. Yes, Prince is not optimal, but also Prince is not too bad because a ton of HP. So... I would say we go for a Miner here. Okay, that was really bad by him. So I'm just going for a Mega Minion here. I'm also gonna Zap because I misplaced my Mega Minion. Played it a bit too late. Okay. Good Dark Prince. So I would say it's time to go for another Giant in the back. Okay, Giant in the back. Mm hmm. Prince, we're just gonna let it go. This wall breakers are not hurting us. And by the way, thank you so much for all the great feedback on editing. Lately, like, my editor's doing insane work, like, putting so much time in, and it's just really nice to hear, like, all your great feedback. So, I think we're just going for another giant here. We just want to let it go again. So, these are, like, the last walker breakers we can let go. But we're just going to fireball this here. So, we're just going to zap this. Let's go for a miner in the back. Let's see. Does he have anything? The Dark Prince! Let's go! We're taking it up. So we went 2-2 two and two for today's episode. I can show you again. I don't really think we got too many trophies. Let's see, we got plus 21. And um, here actually I drawed a game, so... I didn't play here, so we, you don't, you're not gonna see it in the video because it was just like, we're drawing because he's a friend of mine. Um, but let's see, we got plus 27, pl uh, minus 29, okay. I honestly, yeah, we even got like some more trophies in of the start of the video. That's great. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's one, um, the, today's challenge. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, using Creator Good Morton. Thank you so much for all the support. I love you guys. Goodbye. See you guys tomorrow.